hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video tutorial we are going to work on the edit post and the delete post so first of all we will allow a user to delete the post and then we will work on the edit post functionality and you know that in the previous video tutorial we have successfully uh, by using the unique post key we have get that key successfully and then with the help of that you can see that this image is uh, i mean the, not the full image when we when we click on that image then we basically successfully get that image in its complete size i mean in uh, in its original size original size and then we have the post description so now the next thing is to allow a user to edit that post and to delete that post and let me tell you one more thing that is if you see then currently I am logged in by this username okay this is uh, his name and this post belongs to Aisha Hughes okay so if I click on this post then I am getting the edit post button and the delete post button that is one user cannot uh, edit a post of other user and also one user cannot I mean uh, a specific user that is I am currently logged in by this username and I can't just go and edit post of Aisha Hughes and delete the post of Aisha Hughes. So we have to display both these buttons only for the user who is online. I mean who will be online like uh, this is the user. Okay, so we want to uh, display that uh, the edit post button and the delete post button only on only for this user who is online whose name is Sahib Zada Ali so that when I click on that then only the both the buttons will be visible for the user who is online not I mean uh, one user I mean only a user will be able to update his personal post and delete his personal post not he can't just edit the post of other and delete the post of others i hope you are getting me so yeah let's do it so first of all we will add that validation in this video so here we can simply uh, create a firebase or so we can say initialize the firebase auth here so we can say private firebase auth and let's call it m auth and then inside our own create method here we can say m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance and now we are going to get the id of the user who will be online so here we can say current user id so we create a string type variable current user id which basically means that the user who is online and then we can get the id of that user so we can say current user id m auth dot get user id dot get uid now this is the online i mean the user who is who will be online okay now we will basically match uh, now we are going to add a if condition and we will check that is if this id becomes equals to the id of the post that you know that this is uh, i mean the post id is here okay so if that id the user who will be online if that id the id of that user becomes equals to the post uid which is uh, the owner of that post so if both equals then we will display the edit post button and the delete post button so yeah let's do it so here now come down here and when we were retrieving the description and the post image from the database then here i will simply say let's initialize here above so put a comma here and i will call it as database user id database user id and then here i can simply say database user id equals to data snapshot so now we are going to get the user id from the uh, database so we can say data snapshot dot child and the child will be the user id which is our uid so we can say uid dot get value dot to string 
so in this way we get the id of the user which is under the post node and uh, i mean which is this here okay uid so now okay let's uh, remove this string from here okay and we will initialize this variable above also so because we are going to use it many times so, and also this image so we will also initialize here above at the top that's it now uh, we can simply check that is if the current user id dot equals to if that equals to the database user id then this means that this post belongs to the user who is online and then we will display that buttons which is our delete post button and edit post button so when the app starts i mean when the uh, when the user click on the click post activity first of all at the start the buttons will be uh, invisible so we are going to invisible that so we can say delete post button dot set visibility and that will be invisible view dot invisible and the same will be for the edit post button and now if the current user id becomes equals to the database user id then we are going to uh, visible that but these both these buttons when i run the app you will understand everything okay let me complete this so visible change it to visible so yeah that's it and before we run our app uh, let me tell you one more thing in the previous video tutorial uh, this is our post image. Let me show it to you guys. You can see that uh, we, by mistake, we uh, set the layout width to wrap content. It should be match parent so that we can see the full size. I mean, the full width of that image. So change this wrap content to match parent. So we can simply say match parent. And uh, for the post description, we are uh, going to simple one change we have to add a background here for the input so we can say background and which is by this name inputs so now it looks perfect and let's do some small change then we will test our app for the visibility and invisibility of the delete post button and the edit post button for the user who will be online so the padding for it will be 15 dp and from the top it should be i mean we have to remove the dp so from the left it will be 10 dp and from the right it should be 10 dp yeah that's it now let's test our app so run the app so our app is running now successfully and you know that i am login by this i mean the user the username is uh, this one okay so this is another user which is muhammad will share if i click on his post then i can't see the edit post button and the delete post button so i am not able now to delete someone else's post i will be able only to delete my post and edit my personal post not other people posts so you can see that this is the full uh, original size uh, the original size of the image of the post image uh, which is uploaded by this user which is Muhammad Gul share and this is the post description so now uh, let's say I'm going to click on another user that is which is my name which is Muhammad Ali let's say I click on that then you can see that I can't see the buttons here okay now let's check uh, for the user who is online which is this user Sahib Dada Ali so now let's come down and here now this is the user post i mean the user who is online so only this user will be able to delete his post and edit his post. now you can see that this is the user who is online okay which is this name so this is his post if he clicks on his post then only that user will be able to edit his own personal post and to delete his own personal post not other people posts you can see that 
okay so these two buttons will be visible only for the user who will be online not for i mean uh, an online user will not be able to delete someone else's posts he will be able to delete his own personal post and to add it to delete his own personal uh, post and to edit his own personal post not other people post so yeah this is working fine i mean uh, this is really cool if i click on this post and you can see that it is working fine this is this user post who is online so everything is working fine so this is it for this video and in the next video we will allow we will be working on this delete post and edit post button so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now